Knowing the pH and electrical conductivity, or EC, of your growing media can help you grow better and more consistent crops. Testing procedures are not difficult and can be done at minimal cost. The following video shows a process for carrying out a practical on-site pH and electrical conductivity test on growing media. pH and conductivity can have a, a large effect on the plant if it's incorrect. It's something that anyone can do. The equipment required for an EC and pH test is a growing media sample, distilled water, pH EC meter and probes, rinsing water, a measuring container, a measuring cylinder for measuring water, straining equipment, which is a container with stocking and rubber band, a container for holding the strain sample, and record keeping sheets. Take 120 millilitres of moistened growing media and tap down to give 100 millilitres of compacted media. Take 150 millilitres of distilled water and add to the measured growing media. After putting on the lid, shake the container 50 times. Leave the shaken sample sit for 15 minutes, then shake another 50 times. Take the glass jar and moisten stocking, which helps the water strain through, and use a rubber band to loosely secure the moistened stocking over the mouth of the glass jar. Now pour the sample through the stocking. Then remove the stocking from the glass jar. Now pour the strain sample into a narrow container for testing. Next you insert the pH and EC probes into the strain sample, ensuring the EC probe is inserted to the hole to get an accurate reading. Now turn the meter on and wait for the reading to stabilise before taking the reading and recording the result. The following are some important tips for maintenance of pH and EC equipment. Calibrate the meter monthly. Store the EC probe dry and the pH probe moist according to the manufacturer's instructions. Avoid scratching the pH probe by always filtering samples. Store the meter in a cool dry place and protect from the weather. We can um, change our mix, we can improve on it all the time. For us, as a monitoring tool, I guess, one, our media coming in always varied, um, but we treated it the same way, whereas now we know what it is when it comes in. Um, and sometimes that's a case of knowing that there's a problem there and, and not having to accept it. The biggest thing I can see is just the fact that you can react to something before it actually happens. Mm. Whereas before, we'd end up throwing out plants more information on growing media properties and testing can be found in Container Media Management. This short training video has been supported by South East Queensland Irrigation Futures Rural Water Use Efficiency Initiative. Special thanks go to Heaton's Nursery.